in my generation, when I was coming up, it was really okay to hit kids. Yeah. Spanking was fine. Yeah. And even uh, what we would now call beating was fine. Yeah. And so you learn as a child to be afraid of an authority figure telling you what to do because um, you're going to get hit hard somewhere. I got yeah. hit a lot, right? Yeah. And so of my generation, if you grow, if you have grown up being hit a lot and somebody with power over you says, you go do that, then you're going to go do it. Yeah. Younger generations, it's not so cool to hit your kids now, right? Even a little swat on the behind is like not okay, which is wonderful. Yeah. And it means that young people haven't come up with the same fear. Exactly. Of authority figures. And so if you don't have that fear, like, oh, if I don't do it, I'm going to get hurt big time. Yeah. Then free to say, well, why would I do that when we can do this, that, or the other? Mm. And that's where, um, you know, I love the idea that maybe I can be a bridge across generations because I understand and have empathy for where everybody's coming from. And I don't like um, people using demographic labels to trash each other. That's yeah. just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. If someone says, yeah, boomer. It's like, wait, well, you don't know me. No. Don't give me yeah, boomer. Absolutely. Uh-uh. It is true. But, you know, social biases and stere- stereotyping, that's always been a problem for our global community. But you're right. The, the demographics, they really mean nothing. But there is a shift in consciousness with the younger generation. They are just more conscious than any other generation has ever been. And because they are more conscious, they will ask more questions and they will want different dynamics in their relationships, whether it's personal or professional. And it's very challenging to parents. It's very challenging to organizations. It's very challenging to authority figures because it just means you have to do more work. (laughs) You have to do more work and you have to do more work on yourself. Yes, yes, exactly. Like, okay, I'm paying this person. That gives me certain rights. But what rights does it give me? And that's what we've been negotiating over for a while now. Yeah, I think it gives me the right to have shared expectations around a deliverable, right? That's what's for sale in a marketplace. But it doesn't give me a right to tell me, to tell you how you're going to wear your hair, right? And, uh, And so a lot of the tension I'm seeing between generations is uh uh about authenticity you know like can I be authentic and people want to be authentic and their bosses are like you're a distraction in the workplace you know I love Jeffree Star I mm-hmm. love Jeffree Star I'm not jealous of Jeffree Star I don't want to be Jeffree Star but I love Jeffree Star right I can imagine workplaces where people would say if Jeffree Star came to work, you're a distraction, right? Like that, that's an immediate setup for your energy is too big for this workspace. Yeah. And that's where we all get in trouble. 